Hi there, it's Simon here. Today we are going to have a look at the American Standard Misty. I will see you in a few. Alright, so we're going to kick off this tune. It's got two sections. We're going to learn the A section first. If you would like the chart, please go to www.simonmorell.com forward slash free hyphen chart where I will send you the chords and a little sheet of how you play the chords too. So we're going to start off here with an A major 7 shape bar chord at the 3rd fret. I'll always tell you how we're going to do each chord. So we've got a C major 7, that one there. Now, what I was just playing rhythm wise, you can do anything you like. One. That kind of thing. What I was playing is one. Just trying to hit the five of the chord every so often. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six kind of vibe. Um, but like I say, you can play this a million different ways. A million of other people have already. So let's go for that C major seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, G minor seven. We can put a little um, A on the top. It's pretty nice. Okay. And then a C7 with a flat 9. So here's a C7. Okay, that one there is the octave note. So to make it a flat 9, we make it a D flat. Okay, there's the 9. Is a, okay, so we hit that one there. And then we're going to go to F major 7. And then we're going to catch F minor 9. And then a B flat six. Okay, so can you catch kind of the melody there if you like? And then we're going to hit a C major seven, A minor seven, half a bar of D minor, and then G seven, and then B flat seven, A seven, D nine at the fifth fret, five four five five. And then a G7 with a flat 9. So that spelling is, we've got a 5, 6, 4, 6. I know there's no root there. It's there. If you wanted to put it there, but it's just fine. All right, second half of the A section there, we've got a C major 7. 1, 2, 3, same as we did before. And then that G minor 9, and boom. Minor sun, F minor 9, sorry. Then that B6. And then we're going to hit the C major 7. Same thing again. D minor 7, that the A minor shape bar chord, it's fifth fret. And then that beautiful chord again. Kind of beautiful, not beautiful. And then we're going to play a C6. Go for an F11 up here at the eighth fret. Add a 6 into it. And then we're going to come heading back to uh, C6. Okay, so that is the A section. Now, in our B section, we've got the classic uh, move by lots of different songs where you're going to get a minor chord, a minor with a major 7, a minor 7. Beautiful sort of thing. That happens in heaps of songs. My Family Valentine. Uh, something by the Beatles. I think there's even a Five Seconds of Summer song that has a bridge with this kind of chord progression in it. It's a beautiful thing, man. So you can hit that just the... That kind of thing, if you like, just to give it a bit of a difference from the you know, the verse thing we were doing. That kind of thing, if you like. So uh, I'm just walking up and down. Um, I've got a, a G minor. One, two, three, four, five, major seven. Minor seven. And then we've got a C seven with a flat nine, the chord we played before. 
then an F major 7. Okay, now, in this third bar, we've got 1, and then a G minor 7, and then a C7. And then we're going to go to an F6, which is thumb, 3, 2, 3. Okay. And then an F sharp minor 7, B7, A minor 7, D7. E minor, A7, D minor 7, all pretty straightforward. And then we're going to play a G13, first finger flat, second finger on the B, the fourth fret of the G string, and then 5 and 5. Now you know you're playing jazz, right? Okay, so that's second line. We've got F sharp minor 7, E minor shape, B7, A7 shape bar chord. A minor, E minor shape bar chord of the fifth fret, D7, I just played a C shape bar chord there, and then an E minor, uh, A minor 7 shape at the seventh fret, and then an E7 shape bar chord at the fifth fret, which is an A7, and then D minor, and then, oh, pretty exciting, right? Okay, then we are going to go back into effectively the verse. If you wanted to, you could play that A, B, A, B, A, B, and then finish off on a C at some point. The C section is basically like an A section, except we're gonna finish the song up here. So uh, C major seven, then G minor nine, here we go. And then the C seven with the flat nine, and then the F major seven. And then we've got that F minor 9, B flat 6, and then um, C major 7, oh yeah, I should tell you what I'm doing there. So we've got C major 7, and then I'm just going to go, it's an F, G, and the next chord is A minor 7, so it allows me to hit that and then a C, and then D minor. Okay, now, we already got here kind of thing, the same thing as in the A section, but we need to finish it off. So we're gonna play an E minor seven with a flat five. Three, and then a long. And then we got D minor seven, classic finish here. This D. D seven with a flat five. And then we're going to play a C major. Or you could do the thing where you ring around that, so the E minor 7 with flat 5. 3, 4, A7, 2, 3, 4, and 1. Two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and then the round. A minor seven, D minor, G seven. Maybe G seven with a flat, uh, flat nine there. And then we could hit that nice uh, C major 7 here. So thumb on 8. And then I've got 10, 9, 8, 7, which is the major 7 of C. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed playing those beautiful jazz chords on a whatever afternoon it is today. Tuesday, I think. As much as I did. Uh, I will see you next time. If you would like to support the channel, you can for only $3 a month at patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell, where there's a bunch of other extra lessons too. If you would like to just subscribe here, that would be terrific. There's lessons here on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. All the best with this beautiful tune. See you then.